Now, uh, spare a thought this morning for the thousands of runners who should be limbering up, ready to run the London Marathon. All that training is now on hold until October the 4th at least. It also means that charities are missing out on millions of pounds in fundraising. So the organisers have come up with another way for runners to raise money without leaving their homes. Uh, let's talk to Charlie Webster, TV and radio presenter, who's run the London Marathon uh, seven times. And she joins us now for Central London. Uh, well, well done to you. Um, just Thanks. tell us about this 2.6 challenge, which is the alternative way of raising money. Because, as we were saying there, the charities are going to lose out on millions and millions and millions of pounds. Yeah, good morning, Ben. Um, the 2.6 challenge, I think, is brilliant because you can either do something that adds up to 2.6 or uses the numbers of 2.6 or 26. So it's for all abilities, any level. Personally, I'm doing 26 times 26 second planks at the same time as my mum is doing 26 times 2.6 second planks. So you can see that you plank. So you can see that you can do everything or anything. And the most important thing is that we still support UK charities because the London Marathon is supports so many charities it earns millions and millions and keeps charities being able to do what they do and at the moment they need it more than ever personally i'm doing today for the samaritans um which is desperately needed so they can keep their helpline and phone line open 24 hours a day and um, for the last couple of marathons i've ran for malaria no more so i think it's so amazing that anybody and any everybody can take part in the London Marathon today as per se. And for the people that were meant to be doing it today, it's really important to remember that, as you were saying, that it's not a cancellation, it's a delay, so don't give up. And, and I think I'm right in saying that you, uh, you ran the London Marathon um, because, particularly because you were critically ill with malaria and you wanted to, to raise funds for the campaign against malaria. Yeah, so in 2016, I was on a life support machine and in a coma having got malaria and, and three other tropical diseases. Um, and they, the doctors didn't think I was going to live. And when I did survive, they thought I would be um, mentally and physically disabled and I wouldn't be able to run. Um, and I had to relearn how to walk again. Um, and it, 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 was, it was such a battle and, and such a struggle. And for me, running isn't about physicality in a way. It's about my mind and it's about... Um, helping me cope through stressful times and it's also a way to give back so it was really important to me that I got myself back to be able to run a marathon as opposed to show that I could still do something that I could do before I got malaria but also it was a way that I could give back and I ran for malaria no more and it was the best marathon Ben I've ever ran because as you said I've done seven London and I've done multiple others and um, New York Singapore but this was my slowest ever marathon, but it was my best because I never thought I'd be able to cross that line again. And I ran with my best friends and it was the most incredible feeling where I was like, I, I'm still me. I, I can still be me. And that's what's so special about the London Marathon is that it's all about our own individual reasons and our own individual stories that then affect and roll out and have this kind of like ripple effect of helping other people so it's it's just the most incredible thing and the most incredible feeling yeah i know and uh, i know all those who were due to take part in it are really going to miss it um including you but good luck with the 2.6 challenge and many thanks for talking to us charlie webster there uh, thank you thank you very much indeed for your time